Hi guys, I'm Alice, and today's video is the part two of the Turkish stereotypes. I guess people like the first Turkish stereotype video, so I just thought, why not give it a try to the second one? Maybe you like this too. Also, I get lots and lots of criticism like, we don't do this, we don't do that, we don't like it, you're just, you know, exaggerating. Well, I'm trying to do a video for foreigners who can, you know, laugh and, you know, learn at the same time our culture, our you know, the things that we do and stuff like that. So you're just criticizing nothing. You're criticizing my ass. So let's get us started, shall we? Long goodbyes. You know, normal people say like, goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you later. And they move on to their lives. But in Turkey, it's not like that. If you go to someone else's house and you, you know, eat dinner, do something, blah blah and when it times to go, they don't want you to go also you don't want to leave and this whole complicated thing will take about an hour or half an hour first like this, the guest says well we should go right now and the householder will be like no it's too early just oh my god oh my. did you see that? wild nature I'm fine and the householder will be like, no, it's too early, just stay. And then the guests will be like, no, we should go right now, blah, 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 blah. And after this talk, they begin to walk to the door. But while they're walking to the door, they're still chipping and stuff like that. And people grab their shoes and, you know, put them on. And then let's say, oh, tell them your shoes. And the householder will be like, oh, they're just fine, you know, they're here yesterday and he had a child right now and his child and their, her child get married and now, you know, they're, I don't know what the hell are they doing, I don't give a shit, but I have to tell you right now because you're leaving and I'm trying. So after this kind of talk, they kiss again and then, you know, they go outside and then try to get in their cars and then people are gonna be like, oh, please just go inside, we'll wait for the taxi or we'll wait for our car, just it's so cold, please go inside, blah, blah, blah. And the household will be like, no, we're fine. We're just, you know, having some fresh air. We're just waiting for you, ha, ha, ha. And they're still, you know, just shaking hands and kisses, goodbyes everywhere. If you think that's exaggerating, that's not. Literally, this is what happens every single time. Repairing broken stuff. Well, you know how Turkish people repair stuff? By just hitting it. So for example, this is your cell phone and this is not working. What should you do? You take this to the repairman. What Turkish do? Come on. Also, we like to take the battery out, shake it a bit and then put it on again. That's how we fix it, bitches. We usually do this hitting thing to the remote controls. When their battery died, we can't stop ourselves to beat the hell out of it and maybe it's gonna work. We have problems with the technology, I guess. We like to fix everything by ourselves. We don't like repairmans, no, 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 no. For example, let's say you're a father and your television doesn't work, so you open every single thing and then you try to repair it and then you realize that you cannot do that. You try to put them together and then in the end, there will be a stuff left and you don't know what should you do with that. But no, you can't say that I couldn't do it. You'll probably say, oh, factory did it wrong. What should I do with this extra piece? That is really important, but I didn't know. Let's throw it away. Toilet paper. Where do you use toilet paper? We, Turkish people, like to use toilet paper when we're having a flu. If you're having a flu in Turkey, just grab a toilet paper and clean your nose all day long. Are you home? So what is this are you home about? Well, if someone wants to come into your house or if they're wondering where you are, they will call your house. And then you open the phone and the person is gonna be like, oh, are you home? Duh, you called my house. But we do this all the time. Like, are you home? Nope, I'm in a space. Well, I guess we like to ask questions that we know the answers. I don't know if I did this in my you know, earlier with you, but you know, moms do this a lot. When you open the door, you get into your house and your mom calls like, Geldin mi? Wow. Lemon cologne. We use it for everything. You know, literally everything. When a guest comes, whoop, lemon cologne. When you go to the toilet, oh, lemon cologne. When you faint, oh, 
lemon cologne. When you lemon cologne, we use this lemon cologne for every single thing. We like it. Older days, most people have it in their houses, but right now, I'm not sure if everyone has it or just older people have it. But I have a cologne. Cologne. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Let's say colonia. In Turkish, it's limon kolonyas. Tada! If you have any problems like headache or something, migraine, anything, just use limon kolonyas. And then everything will pass. You'll be fine. <gasps> Oops, I forget about the last one. Throwing water. So we have got this habit. Thing. When someone leaves for a long road, we get a bottle of water or just a glass of water, doesn't matter. And when everybody gets into the car and they're just going, you throw the water behind them. Why we're doing this? Because in Turkish it's like su gibi akın gidin. I don't know, but it basically means that go wherever you're going fast and safe let's say is this is this a thing i don't know anyway this video is too long so i guess that's it for today hope you guys like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up comment down below what do you think about turkish culture okay i guess i'll see you next video bye <sighs>